welcome to my channel, Mara. I am back with a new video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Miriam. Um, I'm in my third year in college and I love to make fashion, beauty, and lifestyle content. So I make YouTube videos, obviously, you're here on my channel right now. You can check out my Instagram right here. And I also just started a blog, um, so I, I've been putting out some blog posts every week. And I'll have that like down below as well. So in my college, we have this program called Co-op, where we go on internships for six months out of the year. So I'm working like full time at a job. So I have to dress up like business casual. Now I just like to wear makeup to work because I feel more put together. It helps me wake up in the morning and like get ready for my day. And it really just like sets the tone for the day. So that's why I choose to wear makeup to work. So I decided I'd just show y'all what my everyday makeup is to work. And this might seem like a lot of steps, but it honestly takes me like between five and 10 minutes in the morning just because I'm so used to doing it. All right, so let's get into the video. So first I start with primer and I use the Maybelline Master Prime Primer, the green one, it helps with redness. And I really love this primer. I think it's a great drugstore primer. It honestly, the bottle is like never ending. So I just put a little bit on my hand and then I'll put it on my face. Pat it in a little bit. I think primer is just a good base, a little buffer between, you know, your skin and the makeup that you're about to put on, and it helps it last all day, and it helps like your concealer foundation go on smoother. So next I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Concealer. Now like L'Oreal has a Pro Glow and the Pro Matte, and I originally was gonna go with the Pro Matte, but this one just makes my skin really like glow. So I'm just putting it under my eyes because that's where I have some eye bags because I do not sleep as much as I need to. Putting a little bit on my forehead underneath my chin. Basically just wherever I feel like I have some discoloration. So like a little bit on my cheeks. I'm not a foundation type of person so I'll literally only use concealer all over my face. Then I'm going to go in with my favorite makeup brush like almost of all time. This is the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. kind of has like a dome shape to it and it's very dense. I just think it's great for blending your concealer, foundation, any cream products. It's just amazing for blending. So yeah, I'm just gonna buff that in. I don't really go in circular motions. I kind of just like tap it down like that. And I find that that is how I can get the most coverage. So on my blog, I just posted a blog post about um, looking good and how that affects your mood and how it's you know self-care and in that I talk about you know dressing up doing my makeup routine and stuff like that um, and I just feel like it's necessary for me like when I'm getting up for the day like I need to really get ready pick out my outfit pick out my accessories and make sure that my makeup on point but you know everyone's different and that's just what works for me let me know what works for you in the comments down below next I'll go in with my real techniques like beauty blender sponge and mainly I'll just go under my eyes because I want that to be extremely blended and not creased and I wet this sponge before I use it and then I'll just go all around my face to make sure that the brush didn't leave any like strokes or streaks. Next I'm going to set my face with powder. So I use the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder in the shade Translucent. This is like the best like Laura Mercier dupe. I've had Laura Mercier before and it's really really amazing but this is like the drugstore version because Laura Mercier is expensive. Expensive. It's like loose powder. I'm using this elf blush brush and I'm just gonna kind of tap it in the powder tap it into the lid So that I can control how much I pick up on my brush I'm going with just a little bit at a time first to do my under eyes Because we don't want those to set and crease. I like to set my whole face I know not a lot of people do but I just can't do that like I, I feel like I need to like lock it in you know just with a light layer next this is probably one of my like favorite parts of my makeup routine I'm gonna go in with some bronzer as you can tell I've lost uh, my color recently because it's like the winter time and I am barely out when the sun is out so this is just some way to you know put some dimension back into my face so I'm using the physicians formula butter bronzer it's called deep bronzer this one's an angled contour brush I just kind of tap it in there and I start with my cheeks, like under my cheekbones. And we're not like contouring here, we're just bronzing up the face, but I'm putting it in all the places that I would contour. And I just think it's beautiful shade. 
um, I guess start light and then blend. You can already see like the definition right there. And I bring it up to my temples, my forehead. It's always best to start from, you know, the outer part of your face and then bring the color in because you don't want darkness right in the center. You want to keep this part pretty bright. The key is just to blend. If you go in too harsh, just keep blending it out. And then I'll do a little bit under my chin, you know, just get that chiseled jaw. Bring it down to the neck a little bit. So it all blends. Tip I learned for contouring and bronzing um, is to do the 3C. You start from your temples, you go down under your cheekbones, and then under your jawline. And then you do the same on the other side. Now the thing about bronzer is you could use a fluffy brush. You don't need to be really precise. You're just trying to get some like color back into your face um, and create some dimension. I kind of just like bring it up and over. Just kind of mix it everywhere. Put on my cheeks. So now you can see like the definition, I have more like definition and structure in my face. So next I'm going to go in with some blush. Um, I don't wear blush all the time, but recently I have been. I'm using the NARS, very, very shimmery, and it's kind of like pinky, peachy tones. I'm using this Sephora double-ended brush, it's the number 204, it basically has like an angled contour um, brush side here, and then it has a highlight side here. The blush, I just kind of dab into it and I smile and put it on the apples of my cheeks. And then I kind of bring the color back to my cheekbone like that. And this will just kind of like emphasize my cheekbone shape. You know, less of like a circle right here and more of like, this is my cheekbone. Now that I did like the base of my makeup, um, I have a lot of like powder products on my face. So what I like to do is kind of like re-moisturize my face and just kind of blend it in more. So I'm going to use the Mario Badescu Facial Spray. My favorite one is the green one. It's with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. And I'm just going to spray that. Just like that. And then I'll go in with my beauty blender and just kind of pat it in. And my face feels refreshed. It feels, you know, more blended. Not as, like, chalky. I feel like it looks more natural. It, like, helps blend the powders together. Next I'm going to go in with some highlighter and I love highlighter ever since like that trend started I can't like imagine not wearing it. So I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy highlighter. It's like a light shimmery like white gold like champagne color and I'll just sweep it on the tops of my face like the tops of my cheekbones. I'll bring it up to you above the brow. Oh yeah you can see it for sure. One of my favorite parts to highlight is also my nose. Just kind of go down to the bridge and then the tip of my nose gives you like a cute button look. Put a little bit on my chin and my cupid's bow. So that's kind of like the base of my face makeup. And all of this I could do in probably like three minutes. Just because I'm so used to like doing it in the same exact order every single day. So I'll give you a better look of the base. So now I'm going to do the eyes. On a normal day, you know, if I'm in a rush, if I'm just like trying to get to work, I'll put bronzer um, on my lids, on my crease, and that just kind of like helps give my eyes more dimension. But I would say like once a week, maybe twice a week, I like try and experiment with some eyeshadow. Let me see if I can zoom you in for the eyes. So when I do experiment with my eyes, I really like to stick to like the warm tone, so like oranges, browns, reds, pinks. Um, and so I got this eyeshadow palette from ColourPop. I really, really love it. I wasn't even like shopping for eyeshadow. I just kind of stumbled upon it and I was like, I need this palette. So I got the ColourPop Yes Please palette. Beautiful orange and pink and yellow and some brown tones. First I'm going to go in with Champs just as like a little transition shade. And I'm using this fluffy eyeshadow brush from e.l.f. Just kind of blending that in my crease all over my lid just as a base and then I'm gonna take this like burnt orange shade here it's called Big Cocktails it's much lighter like in person than it looks like on the camera and I'm gonna focus this on my crease just so that when I put the more like pink raspberry color on my eye it just blends better now I'm gonna go in with Spoiled this is kind of the star of the show sometimes I'll have on like pink pants or burgundy pants so this just like matches really well these shades are very pigmented so as you can see I have a lot on there so I'm gonna put a little bit on each eye and before I blend and then I'll blend in I'm holding the brush from the very end because I want to have a very light hand and then I'm just going in circular motions try and wing it out a little bit towards the edge and then I'll basically just kind of like take a step back 
If it needs more blending, I'll blend it some more. Then I'll go in with the darker two shades, Big Cocktails and Spoiled, and I'll just look up and brush it underneath. This is the eyes. Typically, if I'm feeling fancy, I'll pop like a shimmery shade on the lid, but this is just more of like what I do on a weekly basis. I'll literally just like fluff some color in there and I feel like it makes a big difference. Next I'll go and do my eyebrows. My eyebrows are pretty thick and dark I'd say. Um, I like trim them and stuff regularly so I keep them pretty sharp. I try to. Um, I don't like filling them in because I feel like they just get too dark and I like the more like natural eyebrow look. So honestly all I'm gonna do is go in with some brow gel. This one from Essence it's like literally $2.99 or something. It's so cheap. It has like some fibers in it so it, you know it can thicken up your eyebrows. It's in the shade 2 Brownie Brow. So honestly all I do is just like brush them up and since they're trimmed they don't get too like bushy. Literally it for the brows it takes me like two seconds in the morning. Next I'm gonna go in with mascara. I'm gonna be using my all-time favorite mascara it's the Benefit Roller Lash. I love this mascara because of the wand. It has a curved wand, so it curls your eyelashes. I don't use um, a lash curler, like, ever. This just, like, lifts my lashes. And the formula, I like the formula because it almost feels like a waterproof kind of formula. I like that type of waterproof, like, that holds. I like it to be a little bit drier, but it's not actually waterproof. Um, so it's like easier to take off, you know, at the end of the day. But basically, I'll just like brush up and then I'll brush my eyelashes down so that I get mascara on both sides. Um, and then I'll switch it over to the curved end and I'll like wiggle it up. This is where I'm like actually like separating my lashes. Also, the lift just makes my lashes look much longer. And I basically just do it until I'm satisfied with how my eyelashes look. And I don't like clumpy lashes, I like separated lashes, so I try and like separate them as much as I can. And then with whatever residue, I'll just go under. Look at the difference between like this eye and the eye with mascara. It just like opens my eye more. So to finish off the eyes, I'm just going to go in with some highlighter. Again, the same exact and we're using one. And I'll put some in my inner corners just to make, you know, my eyes pop and look fresher and I look more awake and then I'll put some under my brow bone so that I get my brows to pop. Oh, look at that. That's like one of my favorite places to highlight. It just makes a huge difference. And for my lips, honestly, I just go in with some chapstick. So just going to put on some Blistex. If I'm feeling like I want some color, I'll use um, like a tinted balm. Like I'll use this Glossier Generation G Lip Balm in Zip. This is supposed to be like their red shade. Um, and it shows up pretty sheer. I'll just kind of like dab it on if I want some color and rub it together. Like so. And this is the final look. So that's the final look. I hope you all enjoyed. This is the makeup I wear pretty much every day to work. Um, the eyeshadow changes up a bit, sometimes it's simpler, but this is kind of the look that I go for. I hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to check out my other videos. Um, I have some awesome videos, some study abroad ones, some other vlogs and fashion and beauty ones. I also have an awesome Instagram that you should check out. It's right here and it will be linked down below. As I mentioned before, I just started a blog and I've been writing on that. I did a whole blog post recently about why I choose to dress up in the morning and four tips on how to look presentable without putting in you know, too much effort. Um, so please check that out. I'll link it down below as well. And I hope you all enjoy. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up um, and also comment down below one makeup or skincare products if you don't wear makeup that you could not live without. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye!